Today I'm going to be doing a review of the 2012 Nissan Leaf. And this is Bob, my friend, who is the actual owner of this Leaf. So I'm excited because this is a 100% electric powered vehicle. And I'm also excited because I don't have to pay to rent it. <laughs> but we're going to go out and test drive the Leaf. Maybe I'll even get to drive the car, if you trust me. Oh yeah. Let's go. Bob, what are you showing me? A Leaf app for the iPhone tells me what condition my charge is and time that needs to complete a charge if it does. While you're hooked up to the charger, you can um, turn the climate control on. Really? So you, like, you can pre-cool or preheat the car while it's still plugged in to save electricity, to save charge. All from that app. Yeah. Show me the charging station. That looks pretty interesting. Yeah, it just, uh, it's just an easy plug-in. You open up the little hatch here in the front okay. and, uh, and just plug it in. How long is it taking you to charge the car? Uh, generally, it'll take, if I've completely deleted the battery, depleted the battery, it'll take um, four to five hours mm -hmm. to bring it back up because it, it likes to bring it up slowly. They have some rapid chargers. Okay. Like if you're out uh, and you find a charging station at a Cracker Barrel or a rest stop or a hotel, mm -hmm. you plug into those and you can get 80% of your charge in 30 minutes. Now, what happens if you run out of battery power? Well, if you run, if you really get uh, out in the middle of nowhere, there's actually a little cord adapter that comes with the car. Oh, look at that. And you can plug into 110. So you can just find a 110 outlet. Does this have any any gas? No gas. No gas. 100% electric. Wow. All right, so now I'm sitting in the Leaf, and I'll tell you, I am very impressed, very surprised at just how luxurious and nice this car is. It's a full Zen experience <laughs> right from the time you start the car. And particularly in the British government, very nice. It's got a nice touchscreen display. Yeah, it's got, you know, AM, FM, XM. It's got a USB cord. And you can hook it right up to your iPhone, your iPod. You can even put just load songs onto a flash drive. Plug it in. And it sees your uh, and it, iPod. And it sees the iPod. That's cool. And it brings up the music list. Do you have the navigation system in this? or? Yeah, sure do. Okay. You can just... But the nice thing about the navigation system is, is if you need to have a charge, if you're looking for a charging station, you just hit this button and it will tell, give me directions. I don't hear an engine. Exactly. Uh, where's and the engine? The engine is right up front. But I don't but hear you never, it. You never hear it. Look at that. You've got a nice backup. It shows here. you the path that you're turning. Yep. And then also it gives you, you know, green, yellow, and then yep, red, red when you're getting yeah. too close to That's pretty what cool. you're backing up on. Awesome. So we're out on the highway, and it seems as though you've got a lot of get up and go, Bob. It really does. You can uh, accelerate and pass very well, just like any uh, normal car. Ultra, ultra quiet. The yeah. only thing I'm noticing is just tire roll. How is the transmission? What's the transmission feeling? The feel transmission like? is there's, it's uh, it's that uh, CVT. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 there's, so there's no change between gears. Yep. Yep. It's just a smooth. It's just, again. The zen feel. Of, you know, the seats are very comfortable, and the interior is spacious. You know, uh, we didn't have boxes back in the back. You could get back there. There's an amazing amount of legroom. I don't know if it's the weight of the batteries or what, but it feels like you're driving a full-size car. It's just got that that sturdy, yeah. steady sort of low center of gravity feel. Like, to exactly. It. I'm noticing a little bit of a like an electronic whine. A little electronic motor yeah, one, yeah, but it's yeah. not you know significant. No, 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 no. It, it's it's you you really in this car you feel like you're in you're touching the future. You know when you yeah, think of like yeah. flying cars and electronics. I would have to say at this point I'm very impressed in the overall style, the comfort of the vehicle. Anything you're not thrilled about? I get sent a text every time I take the car off the charger it says you know you're no longer charging okay which is 
it's okay. I'd rather have it text me and say the charge is complete. Yep. Okay. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Okay. I think there's, there should be a way to do that. So maybe operator error. Could be. For most uh, intents and purposes, you love the car. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, um, I just can't find, you know, anything, anything major to. And how long have you been driving the car? Uh, about a month now. And have you noticed any changes in range or battery life? Because that's something that well, I would be concerned with just from like using other consumer products like cell phones where batteries tend to sort of die over time or lessen. You know, when it's extreme heat or extreme cold, it's going to wear the battery out faster because you're running air conditioning and sure. other things to, to um, take away from that uh, battery life. Sure. On the spoiler, mm -hmm. I actually have a solar cell. And what that does is that runs the navigation and sound system. So it takes that off of the main power. All That's right, cool. so now here is uh, the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cajole Mr. Shots to let me drive the car. Yeah, well, just not too far up here. There's a little rest pull off and uh, we'll, drive. Let you, uh, we'll let you have at it. All right, so I can give you the honest assessment of the vehicle from someone who hasn't bought one yet. Obviously, Bob has to like the car. It'd be somewhat foolish at this juncture in time <laughs> <laughs> to say he does not like the car. This is true. Well, so far, yeah, I'm very impressed. Not to like. Very impressed so far. It's tech savvy. You guys know I like technology. This whole green movement. Just the fact that you go to a public charging station, the car remembers that this is a location pinpoints other locations because they are sparse but I'll have to give it up to uh, Nashville for being very proactive in putting these charging stations up at a lot of different places Bob says there's one at a, a local supermarket what was that what chain yeah, is the, that uh, Publix the Publix in town the Hutton Hotel Cracker Barrel and the Loveless Cafe so we have to give kudos to those places and I'm gonna test it out for you guys what do you think about that one sounds good now, Bob, you're going to have to do some filming. All right. I'm going to have to enlist your, your services. So uh, let's take a look at this. This is pretty interesting. Yeah, it's almost like a joystick. So what do you do? You... Well, basically, uh, you pull it to the left, and then up is in reverse, down and drive. down in drive. Holy moly. I well, love try, it. Try the pickup. Now, that affects your... That affects your charge. You don't want to do too much of that. Wow. But right. it's there when you need it. It's there when you need it. It has a nice sturdy feel to it. You don't feel underpowered. You feel clean in this car. You feel like you're you're doing your part for the environment. To, to not sound corny, it's very techy. You got a techy feel to you. I like it. I mean, I could drive this car all day. It, it's funny, in, in ways you don't feel like you're in anything different but in ways you feel like you're in something so different. Pretty cool. And if the charging stations start popping up in more places, the cost of charging the car, if you started to do the calculations, would be what? About a dollar ninety for a full charge. Dollar ninety for a full charge. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Very fun to drive. Uh, peppy. You certainly have the fun factor, you certainly have the, the cool factor. People are coming up to Bob, they're looking at the car, they want to know, they're inquisitive. What would you say, Bob, is a, is a manageable commute? 30, 35 miles one way, or like a 30 mile? Uh, so I would say 30, 35 would, uh, in uh, most every condition, you know, you wouldn't have a problem at all. Are you regenerating power when you're braking? Or when right, you're... you re regenerate when you're braking or even when you're coasting. Okay. Uh, you're regenerating power. Oh, look at the deer. And he doesn't hear us, right? Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not uh, disturbing the wildlife at all. We interrupt this auto review for a nature break. He'll never hear us coming. Look at where he's going. I don't know, but he's 
play, he's being playful. I mean, kicking up like he is. Whoa! <laughs> he didn't hear you. Yep, there he goes. So we almost had a really good feature. Not that Bob would have liked it. We almost hit the deer <laughs> with the Nissan Leaf because the car is so quiet. He didn't know where we were. He didn't know. I would not take the Natchez Trace Parkway at night in the Leaf. Wouldn't do it. So when we left Bob's today, I think we had about 92 miles in and around 92 miles worth of uh, fuel, electronic fuel, I'm going to call it. What I found out about myself driving this is that I am a, a glass half empty kind of guy because I am petrified <laughs> as I see the MPG go down. Miles per what? What do you consider it? Miles per kilowatt hour. Miles per kilowatt hour go down. I don't want to ruin our day by getting us stuck. But what I realize as Bob has kind of taught me, that as you are driving, so as you coast and in the uh, eco mode, the resistance of the tires spinning actually charges up the battery. So we're halfway through our trip. We started off at 92 miles per kilowatt hour and we have 48. And we had dropped down to... We had dropped down to 40. 40. And now it takes a little getting used to. It wasn't easy. I was driving a little slower than I would have wanted, but it, initially I was driving just like it was a regular car. Bob is all confident here. We're gonna get back, no problems. Everything's good. Oh, here's a nice big hill. So on this big hill, Bob, if you look to the, uh, the, the dashboard, the little circles to the left there mean the car is charging. So it's an active charge. So if I'm allowed to get down this hill without anybody coming behind me, because as you, as you see, there's a lot of resistance on the car. You're actually coasting and losing speed as you coast. But you got a nice, almost a full charge going. So I'm gonna let that charge up a little bit. Now here comes a car, so I'm gonna have to put a little bit more emphasis on it. But we're up to 49 miles. And we're up to 49 miles. Very good. So there you have it. Another honest auto review from an average guy. And a tech savvy Tennessean. If you're in the market for a unique little eco-friendly vehicle, you have to take a look at the new 2012 Nissan Leaf. And I'll see you next time. I'd like to thank Bob for allowing us to use his car as a test dummy. Comment, subscribe, let me know how you feel, and I will see you next time.